Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadas, that the name of the Heavenly Father, who you ignorantly call God, his name is Yahweh, in the name of his Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine throughout the four winds of the world. To you, I say shalom. Hey, these plagues aren't going anywhere, all right? The Most High, excuse me, sent these plagues out, and they're not going to return, all right, till they, um, till they basically uh, destroy whatever uh, their purpose was intended to, all right? Whether it's a, a plague of locusts to destroy crops, whether it's a plague of pestilence, to destroy a nation, okay? That's what the Heavenly Father intended for it to do. That's what it's going to do. And in this article right here, um, I'm going to uh, is, is in reference to a mystery illness that uh, um, that hit Southern India. All right, where it landed 300 people in the hospital, and this is what just what they're reporting. All right, but the people thought that that the, these pestilent diseases, all right, which are plagues from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh showers, is going to go away after the C19. All right, hey, it's not going away. All right. After, you know, whether the Maxine, whether the people take it or whether they don't, it don't matter. The plagues are going to, um, plagues are going to increase on this earth. Why? Because the Most High is about to, sh Most High is about to, uh, it's, it's, it's showing his power. Oh, really? Okay. And, and this is nothing more, this is nothing more than small plague. All right. And it's not, it may not be small to these people over here in India, but once these, these major plagues start to take place throughout the world, you're going to see them, the power of the Most High. All right, so these people think you people think that you know uh, uh, um, the C19 is going away, and you know it's just going to be a thing in the past. No, you going this is something that you're going to have to live with uh, continually until this place is uh, uh, destroyed. All right, so let me read a little bit of this article, and I'm gonna pull some precepts. And Lord, within this lesson, is edifying to the elect because you got to understand these these the plagues of the Most High are undefeated. Okay, they're going to accomplish whatever the Most High intended them for intended them to accomplish. Okay, so let me read this article. Um, mystery illness lands over 300 people in a hospital in southern India. All right, one thing you got to understand about India, India, they have a lot of uh, good doctors in India. So, you know, they, you know, you know, usually when things like this happen, they usually get to the bottom of them. They know what they are. They'll be able to, they'll be able to pinpoint, uh, uh, you know, what caused it and, and what it is. Okay, but... All of a sudden, it's a mystery illness, all right? So it says, a mystery illness linked to one death put more than 300 people in the hospital over the weekend in southern India, state of Ad Ad Adra Pradesh. Dozens of residents of Ellura City started falling ill on Saturday night with some losing consciousness, all right? They, this is, this is, this, these symptoms seem uh, uh, more, um, more intense than uh, the C-19. All right. The patient re reported symptoms similar to those associated with epilepsy, including headaches, nauseous, nausea, vomiting and seizures. The number of patients rose sharply throughout Sunday. By Monday morning, 300 and 315 people were in a local hospital. More than 150 patients were released after treatment. But the le but but that left about half of those who were admitted with an unexplained illness still in Elora's hospital. A 45-year-old man who was brought in on Sunday morning with, no, with no, nauseous and seizures died, but doctors say he had recovered from he had recovered from epilepsy-like symptoms and died of other causes, according to an Indian news outlet. And he more than likely died of whatever that mystery illness that they're saying. All right, they, like you know, they they and you know, all throughout the media they try to. Um, what is it? Uh, 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 try to make things seem like they're not bad as they are. Okay, but who knows? This thing could be spreading all throughout India, and and, and just like they said, you know, about the C nineteen. Oh, it was just a thing in China. But next thing you know, it's all it spread all over the world. The same thing with this. All right, and if you don't have the covering of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, hey, hey, you may catch this, and you may that may be your uh, that may be your judgment ultimately. Okay, it says doctors have have not been able to establish the cause of the illness through blood tests, brain scans, or cerebral a cerebral spinal fluid test. Results were still pending on some blood cultures and tests to look for the E. coli 
look for the E. coli bacteria. So they're saying it's some type of bacteria. All right. Experts in the Indian's Top Health Institute, including all India Institute of Medical Science in New Delhi, National Institute of Nutrition, and Indian Institute of Chemical Technology were expected in Elora earlier this week to help investigate the illness. So people, hey, people out hey, and all these nations are going to catch hell. Okay, and it's, hey, it's some Israelites over there uh, scattered amongst those uh, uh, those Elamites, all right, which they're calling the Indians, but they're not. They're, 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 their biblical name would be Elamites, okay? Um, let me see. Um, so, hey, you, hey, you see the times that we're living in, all right? All these nations that have come against Israel one way or another are getting judged by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh okay? And it's not going to stop, okay? Because, hey, Elam was in that list. Um, let me see. It's a list of nations that, that were all confederate against Israel. All right. This is um, Psalms 83 and verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a turmoil. They that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. And that's what these that's what these countries did. Okay. Along is with, with the top dog, Edom, Esau, Edom. But all these nations have been confederate with Esau to keep us, um, to keep us uh, 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 away from our heritage, from us finding out who we are. That's why the Lord is jacking these nations up. All right, it ain't, it ain't no mystery illness to the Most High. The Most High exactly, he knows exactly what he put over there, and 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 and, and what and and the uh, and what he wants it to do. Okay. Let me grab this real quick. Um, this is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16. And I'm going to start at verse 3. A sword is sent upon you, and who is, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and who is he that may drive them away? Ain't no one going to drive these plagues of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai away. May a man drive away a hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it hath begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot from a strong archer? The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? All right, no one can drive these plagues of the Habashim Yahweh away. The plague of pestilence, eventually the, pay, the plague of uh, famine, the plague of hunger is going to take place. Uh, and it's already taking place in some parts of the world. All right, but mainly here in America, where the place where where, where the place of wickedness is at an all time high. All right, that's why the Heavenly Father sending these, these judgments. Okay, because 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 of, of of wickedness in the world. Okay, w wickedness amongst uh, uh, first and foremost amongst you Israelites. All right, and and Esau and the heathen nations. All right, I'm gonna jump down to verse 37, and it reads, um, "Behold, plagues draw nigh." Actually, uh, yeah. Hmm. See, uh, yeah, I'll start at 37. Behold, plagues draw nigh and are not slack, meaning they're not going to tarry any longer. They're not slack. They're going to come. They're going to take place. All right. We're not living in a time where, you know, these things are, are happening, but this ain't the end. You know, these things have always happened, but no, these things are happening at a rapid pace because the Lord is speeding up the, the time for the elect sake. So you're going to see plagues. You're going to see these, um, these uh, 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 crazy weather patterns. You're going to see all these uh, uh, blood moons and wolf moons and, and eclipses. The, these are signs of Yahweh Shem Shai. These are signs that the Lord is showing his power. All right. And he's about to, uh, 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 he's about to ramp it up. Okay. This is the, we're at the end of 2020, the year of prophecy and nothing has taken, nothing but prophecy has been taking place uh, uh, throughout this whole year. All right. Celebrities dying left and right. Okay, uh, 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 mass earthquakes, um, uh, 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 crazy weather, pat weather patterns, uprising of the people. Okay, a uh, 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 storm and tempest. Uh, 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 um, what is it? Uh, those uh, uh, um, fires all all over the place. Okay, a lot of things have been happening. All right, and it's only going to uh, get worse here in America and other parts of the world. All right, so this, hey, you sh you people should be mourning. Okay, um, verse thirty eight. As when a woman with a with child is in the ninth month, bring forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb. 
which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. All right, that's that, that's giving the um, analogy of a woman giving birth uh, to a child, and when those pains come, they're not slack; they're going to come. Okay, when when that when that child is um, about to be born, okay, hey, the the mother is going through 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 uh, crazy birth pains. Okay, trying to push that that push that child out of her womb. Okay, that's the same thing with America, with these plagues coming in, in the other parts of the world. These plagues are coming, and in, in these pains that are that 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 are uh, overtaking the people, they're going to come, and, and they're not slack. All right, even so shall the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. All right, and the whole world, excuse me, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Every side, all right. This place is going to catch hell, all right. The, the whole world, okay. All these nations where 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 Jake dwells, where these heathens dwell. Every hey, ain't a hey, ain't going to be a nation, all right, on this planet that's not going to be touched by these plagues, okay. Yeah, not all the nations are going to get 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 destroyed in the thermonuclear fire, but hey, these plagues, all right, they're coming. The plague of uh, like I said, the plague of pestilence, all right, which is taking over the whole planet already, all right. But more or more to come. Okay, famine, all right, great death, okay, uprising of the people, kingdom against kingdom, people, you know, uh, race riots, all right, you, you already see that, but it's only going to intensify the closer and closer we get, all right, I got one last scripture I want to grab, uh, this is uh, 2nd Ezra 15 in verse 49, it says, uh, I will send plague upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death and the power and the glory of thy power shall be dried up as a flower the heat shall arise that is sent over thee all right so these plagues are these plagues are coming okay the the, the plague of widowhood poverty all right you, you haven't seen poverty yet until you've seen the poverty that the heavenly father's sending in the form of these plagues famine okay you ain't seen you see people starving in somalia and all these third world countries you ain't seen famine yet all right that's that's nothing that's that's, that's man this is this is going this is going to intensify okay sword and pestilence to waste the thy houses with destruction and death okay so today this is just a small a snippet of, of what's to come okay and, and, and he, hey, these people catching hell over there all right and like i said there's some israelites scattered amongst them that's probably wicked as hell or right, that's over there worshiping a cow or something that's catching hell. That's going to catch this virus or, or not, excuse me, virus or uh, uh, this illness, this mystery illness. OK. And whatever else the Most High has got in store for India, uh, all them countries. All right. So, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying to the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakudash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.